Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for photomanipulationtutorials.com. My name is Nick Sutos and I'm going to show you how to do a color change on a white object. I know I have done a color change, but a color, a color change tutorial, but that technique only works for objects that are not white or have a color that is not black, gray, or white. And this technique works for colors that are white or any color, just not black and gray. So we have an example of a Lamborghini. My brother took this picture. And um, I've turned this Lamborghini into a green Lamborghini. And you can too by just following my tutorial. Okay, so first, as always, um, duplicate the background by hitting, by selecting the background and hitting Control or Command J. Then grab your pen tool or hit P and select the, or make a path around the object that you want to change the color of. It should be quite precise. So I'm going to zoom in by hitting Control or Command Plus. And then if you hit the space bar and click, left mouse click, you can pan around. Okay, so I'm just going to go quite fast. I don't want to waste too much time here. I'm going to zoom out and controller command minus. And if you want to make a curved path, Click and hold the um, left mouse button and then pull. And after the curve, if you click, it'll like continue the curve kind of. Then if you want a straight line, just alt click the last anchor point and it will get rid of this handle and you can create a new line that does not like follow through. So it should be quite precise. Okay, almost done. Okay, done. Not really because um, we have to get rid of the, or subtract the areas that we don't want to change the color of from this path. And you do that by going to the path settings here clicking subtract from path area, the button. It's right next to add to path area. And then select the parts that you don't want to have the color change of. Okay. Okay, and here are these um, black areas. You can um, make a path around them, but you don't have to because black, if it's real black, it won't change its color. So you can neglect those parts oh. here. And now I'm going to um, make this path like way too large here, you see, because I'll show you how to um, correct that later. So, once you have the path and um, you've subtracted the parts that you don't want to change the color of, right-click the path or right-click inside the path 
and click make selection. You don't have to feather it, I'll just feather it by three pixels. Okay, and then create a uh, adjustment layer by going down here and or or you can go up here and click layer new adjustment layer and then we want to have a hue and saturation adjustment layer okay now when you change the hue or slide the hue slider you'll see some slight changes but if it's real white you shouldn't see any um, changes because it only changes if it already has a color so if it's if this Lamborghini were uh, red for example it would change the color of the or it would really change the color but if it's white um, it doesn't or just a little bit because it's kind of tinted I guess so if we really want to change the color we have to click colorize and now you see it's looking better but and then you can um, change the saturation and the lightness and that looks pretty good like a baby blue how about a red red is actually for like Ferraris but let's make a red Lamborghini okay I think that's quite good okay and now I'm going to show you how to correct this click your um, if it's not selected already your uh, layer mask get your brush tool or hit B be sure that the foreground color is white if you're not sure um, or if it isn't just hit D because white is the default foreground color and then you can just paint over yeah it's easy as that and if you paint too far like let's say it like this you can just take black or hit X to switch between these the foreground and background color and delete it like that okay and change the size of the brush with the bracket keys or up here uh, okay we'll zoom in Whoa. And it's handy with the X um, key because you can just always switch between foreground and background color. Okay. Control zero to go back. I think this looks pretty good. Here, this could use some more work, but I bet you'll do it more diligently, and it'll look great. Okay, um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Check out my other ones, and see you next time. Bye.